Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hasham Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on financial statement analysis. In this video, two more problems I'm going to explain you on common size statement analysis. Last video, two problems and this video, two problems. Totally four problems I've selected for uh, common size statement analysis. So if you want the perfect knowledge watch all the videos from beginning till end don't join in between don't skip in between you will not be able to understand one by one video if you watch definitely you will feel more confidence on the subject you will enjoy learning the subject of uh, financial statement analysis so before starting the last problems i expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which i have given in the link under my description Take the screenshot of the solution of the last two problems, then I'll explain in detail. Come on, see the problem number three. Prepare a common size statement and interpret the result. Not only you have to make the statement, but also you have to make the interpretation. Comment. Now, balance sheet is given as on 31st March 2017 and 2016. So, first we take 2016, next we'll take 2017. The particulars are given equity and liability, shareholders fund, share capital, reserves and surplus, non current liability, 12% debentures, current liability, Trade payable only one current liability is given assets non-current assets fixed assets are given current assets cash and cash equivalent only one item so we are given only one current liability and one current assets that's it so now we have to prepare common size balance sheet see here common size balance sheet as on 31st March 2016 and 2017 the so first column 2016 Two broad columns will make first column for 2016, second column for 2017. Two sub columns, amount and percentage. Here also amount and percentage. So whatever format is given, the same format I have copied down here. And I have taken the same amounts, whatever is given for 2016 and 2017. The capital 1 lakh same. It is given same 1 lakh, 1 lakh. Then reserves and surplus 67, 250, 84, 500. Same amounts we have taken. Now, in the previous video also I have explained the base will be taken the total assets. The total assets are 3 lakh. This will be taken as the base, 100%. Now, express all other items as a percentage of total assets. That means 1 lakh. 1 lakh divided by 3 lakh into 100, 33.33. .33. 67,250 divided by 3 lakh into 100, 22.42. Like this, we have calculated all percentages. Liability is also same. The total of assets and total of liability will be equal to 3 lakh, 3 lakh. Now, 2 lakh, 17, 200 divided by 3 lakh into 100, 72.14. 82,800 divided by 3 lakh into 100, 27.6. That's all. These are the percentage calculations for 2016. Similar percentage calculations you have to make for 2017. The total of the assets 307,000. This will be taken as base 100%. Now express all these items as a percentage of total assets. Keep all these values in the numerator and denominator you take 307,000 into 100. So 1 lakh divided by 307,000 into 100, 32.57. 84500 divided by 307000 into 100 you will get all these values same procedure you follow for liabilities the total of the liability is 307000 so 219810 divided by 307000 into 100 71.60 that's all so we have made all the calculations of common size balance sheet now we have to give the interpretation now how the interpretation will be here we have to give the interpretation regarding the current assets and current liability to give the opinion about liquidity position. Normally, current assets should be more than current liability. That means increase in current assets should be more than increase in current liability. Then we can say the liquidity position has improved. Now you can see 
करंट लाइब्रेरी लास्ट ईयर टेन पॉइंट थ्री टेन पॉइंट नाइन टू परसेंट करंट ईयर इट हेज बिकम सेवन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री परसेंट दैट मीन्स इफ यू कंपेयर द परसेंटेज द करंट लाइब्रेरिटी हैज डिक्रीज इन ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन नाउ कंपेयर द करंट असेट्स द करंट असेट्स हियर करंट असेट्स आर ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स लास्ट ईयर ट्वेंटी एट पॉइंट फोर करंट ईयर सो नाउ यू कंपेयर द करंट लाइबिलिटी हैज डिक्रीज्ड whereas current assets have increased during the year 2017 so what will be the impact the liquidity position has improved in 2017 because there is increase in current asset and decrease in current liability so here the current assets increased from 27.6 to 28.4 whereas current liability decreased from 10.92 to 7.33 so this indicate that short term liquidity position has improved in 2017 first interpretation the second interpretation there is slight decrease in fixed assets now compare the fixed assets with long term funds the fixed assets must be invested from long term funds right so now we'll compare fixed asset 72.4% last year current year 71.6% there's a slight decrease in fixed asset in percentage terms but in absolute terms it has slightly increased 217200 to 1918 there is slight increase but percentage terms it decreases now Uh, the reserves and surplus have slightly increased both in terms of percentage and absolute term indicating increase in profitability the profit will be kept in reserves and surplus so here reserves and surplus last year 22.42 current year it is 27.52 so we can observe there is a slight increase in absolute terms also 67250 84.5 so there is slight increase in reserves and surplus in absolute terms and in percentage indicating that profitability has slightly increased in 2017 that you should write in interpretation the reserves and surplus over the overall financial position appears to be satisfactory uh, there is no change in share capital and debentures in absolute terms see here share capital last year one lakh current year one lakh the amount is same debentures last year one lakh current year one lakh there is no change in absolute terms in share capital and reserves but in percentage terms it has slightly decreased from 33 to 32 here it is 33 to 32 slight decrease last one the overall financial position appears to be satisfactory in 2017 compared to 2016 finally our interpretation what we what we observe from these calculations in 2017 the financial position has slightly improved compared to 2016 that's all this is the end of problem number 3 the now the last and final problem problem number 4 convert the following statement prepared by an analyst into common sense statement and interpret the changes in 2017 in the light of conditions of 2016 <coughs> again we are given two years 2016 2017 we have to give the interpretation what is the change occurring in 2017 compared to 2016 but here income statement is given so we have to make common size income statement for the year 2016 and 2017 see common size income statement for the year 2016 17 2016 two broad columns amount percentage 2017 amount percentage now the data is given gross sales less returns net sales gross sales minus sales return net sales so whatever format is given in the problem same format i have copied and after that the amounts are given 2016 2017 same amount i have taken for 2016 and 2017 the only thing is we have to calculate the percentages that's it so for income statement the base should be net sales not gross sales so we we'll take the net sales as 100% in 2016 the net sales are 30000 this 30000 i am taking as base 100% 100% i am taking the 100% i am taking the net sales right now 
ग्रॉस सेल्स ग्रॉस सेल्स आर थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड तो थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी थाउजेंड इन टू हंड्रेड यू विल गेट वन नॉट टू परसेंट न्यूमरेटर आई हेव टेकन थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड डिनोमिनेटर थर्टी थाउजेंड इन टू हंड्रेड वन नॉट टू सिक्स हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी थाउजेंड इन टू हंड्रेड टू परसेंट तो न्यूमरेटर विल टेक द इंडिविजुअल वैल्यूज डिनोमिनेटर विल टेक द नेट सेल्स तो थर्टी थाउजेंड विल टेक डिनोमिनेटर एटीन थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई थर्टी थाउजेंड इन टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इलेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई थर्टी थाउजेंड इन टू हंड्रेड थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री तो टेक ऑल दीज वैल्यूज इन न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर यू टेक थर्टी थाउजेंड इन टू हंड्रेड यू गेट ऑल परसेंटेजेस सिमिलर कैलकुलेशन वी हेव टू मेक फॉर ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन इन ट्वेंटी सेवनटीन द नेट सेल्स आर थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी दिस इज द बेस फॉर दिस बेस टेक हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट नाउ टेक द इंडिविजुअल वैल्यूज इन द न्यूमरेटर थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड सेवन ट्वेंटी डिवाइड बाई थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इंटू हंड्रेड सेवन हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इंटू हंड्रेड वन पॉइंट नाइन सिमिलरली Take all these values in the numerator and denominator thirty six thousand twenty into hundred. You will get these percentages. So I suggest you, whenever you watch the video, always keep a calculator, notebook, pen beside you, so that whenever I give the lecture, immediately you calculate and check whether you are getting the same values or not. In this way only you can get the perfection in calculations. Now. After making all these calculations, we are required to give the interpretation. Now, how to give the interpretation? First of all, we compare the gross profit. The gross profit thirty nine point three three percent last year, and current year it has become forty three point seven eight percent. See here, from thirty three percent to thirty nine percent to forty three percent, the gross profit has increased. Why the gross profit have increased? Because the cost of goods sold have increased at a lower rate. Here, the cost of goods sold was sixty point six seven. Out of hundred rupees of sales, sixty point six seven was the cost of goods sold. But current year, for every hundred rupees of sales, fifty six point two two. That means the cost of goods sold have decreased. When cost of goods sold decreased, gross profit will increase. so first interpretation the percentage of gp has increased from 39.33 to 43.78 this is on account of decrease in cost of goods sold from 60.67 to 56.2 first interpretation now we'll come down to operating profit profit from operations so profit from operations increased from 9.33% to 16.202% the gross profit have increased and operating profit have also increased at a higher rate the reason is in between gross profit and operating profit there are operating expenses see the operating expenses last year 30% current year 27.76% that means the operating expenses have decreased when operating expenses decreases operating profit will increase that is the reason why the operating profit increased from 9.33 to 16.02 so here the operating profit have increased from 9.33 to 16.02 this jump is on in operating profit is on account of control of operating expenses which decreased from 30.30% to 27.7 when we control the operating expenses then operating profit will increase the third interpretation there is no significant change in non operating income and non operating expenses see here non operating income 1% 1.11% and non operating expenses 1.33% 1.67% no significant change small very minor increase in non operating income and non operating expenses then next one the net profit increased from 9% to 15.4% 46% last year net profit was only 9% of sales and current year net profit is 15.46% of sales every 100 rupees of sales we are getting 15 rupees last year every 100 rupees of sales we were getting 9 rupees of sales 9 rupees of profit 
So ultimately we can say the net profit have increased during the current year 2017. From the above analysis, it appears that profitability has increased in 2017 on account of control of cost of goods sold and operating expenses. So finally, our observation is during the year 2017, the company has controlled the cost of goods sold and also controlled the operating expenses due to which the profitability has increased. The overall profitability position appears to be satisfactory in the year 2017 like this interpretation you have to write in examination so this is the end of unit number three financial statement analysis in this unit two topics I have explained ratio analysis and a common size statement analysis so I wish you all the best for your preparation for your exams Inshallah, in the next video, I'll start the next unit, unit number four, that consists of cash flow analysis. That is also one of the uh, financial statement analyzing technique.